Kanye West is one of the most controversial characters that is in our media today. He's married to Kim Kardashian, he's a rapper, he's talking to Donald Trump, he's doing a lot of things that are kind of strange. So today's video, we're gonna be analyzing what he's been saying, what he's been doing, and finding out, is this guy crazy or is he onto something? So we're gonna start out this video with clips of talks with Kanye West where he was on Jimmy Kimmel, he was also on TMZ where he made some comments about slavery that were questionable. And then we're also going to look into his relationships with Donald Trump and exactly what's happening with that. So the first clip that we're gonna be looking at is the one where he's speaking to Jimmy Kimmel and he starts talking about how the world is kind of like a wall of coffee tables. Simulation, a two year old jumps on a coffee table and someone says, that's a coffee table, don't jump on that. So it went from being something that makes him feel like Superman, he's got his cape on, to something where he has to think about this person's like a family member he doesn't like anyway. He's two years old, he doesn't think about a coffee or a table. And he's starting to like calculate all these things. And by the time you're 40 years old, you've got a wall full of coffee tables calculating you into traffic, calculating you into your career choice, calculating you into this house, townhouse that's not quite as big as the townhouse next and it just never works. You know, that's the simulation that I'm talking. That's what I mean when I say simulation. So this coffee table example that Kanye is talking about, it actually makes a lot of sense. It's based in sociology, the idea that you are socialized from a young age through your culture, through your family, through your friends. You're taught what is okay. You're taught various cultural norms of behavior that you can follow, and if you don't follow these things, you're often penalized or punished for not following them. And Kanye is saying with this coffee table example that we are really limited in what we can do simply by the cultural norms that are prescribed and inside our minds right now. So he is expressing the idea that we need to get past these blocks in our brain and move forward. This is a good idea. This is getting into some complex subjects that a lot of people don't truly understand. The next example that we're gonna look at is an example from a talk with TMZ where Kanye West went on kind of a rant and started talking about slavery. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? You know, like, it's like we're, we're mentally in prison. I like the word prison because slavery goes di too, too direct to the uh, idea of blacks. It's like slavery, Holocaust, Holocaust Jews, uh, slavery is blacks. So prison is something that unites us as one race, blacks and whites being one race, uh, that we're, one, we're, we're, we're the human race. Do you feel that I'm feeling, do, do you feel that I'm being free and I'm thinking free? I, I, actually, I actually don't think you're thinking anything. I think what you're doing right now is actually the absence of thought. And the reason why I feel like that is because, because Kanye, Kanye, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to believe whatever you want. But there is fact and real world, real life consequence behind everything that you just said. If you actually watch the whole video, it makes some sense and he isn't really saying it from a bad place. He just says it in kind of a weird way. So what he really means by this is, we are still slaves. It's not in the same context. It's not nearly as bad as, you know, slavery in the 1800s in the United States, which he kind of makes a mistake by bringing up the term slavery and connecting it to that. It's a little bit extreme. What he would do better to say is possibly to say that we are, we don't have full freedom like we often think we do and that we need to assess the things that are in our lives that are holding us back. But either way, he is on to something here too. He's just saying it in a really coarse way that can easily be misinterpreted. And the last topic that I'm gonna be talking about is how Kanye West has started a relationship that is public with Donald Trump. This has been really controversial. He first started wearing the Make America Great Again hat and people really started questioning why he was doing this and he looked kind of like he lost it for a little bit. A lot of his supporters started to quiet down and question his actions, 
And now I'd like to go into exactly what he is doing with this and why this isn't a necessarily a bad thing. So to truly understand where Kanye is coming from in this whole relationship with the Republican Party and Donald Trump, it's important to listen to his song, Ye Vs. The People, where uh, T.I. is actually featured in that song, and it's a discussion between Kanye and T.I. standing in place of the people. They're having a discussion back and forth, and it actually goes through and kind of dismantles the misconceptions that the public is having with Kanye right now in his own words. Bruh, I never ever stop fighting for the people actually wearing the hat to show people that we equal. You gotta see the vantage point of the people. What makes you feel equal makes them feel evil. Kanye wants to show through wearing the Make American Great Again hat that he is equal to the Republican Party and anyone in it, and also that any of his supporters are also equal. He wants this to be a message that's positive, not negative. He wants to show that we can work with people who are potentially political enemies or people who we don't fully agree with, work with them to reach a greater understanding so that we can move forward with better policies and just a better understanding of both sides of the debate and move forward to where we have a better end result. Ultimately, Kanye West's relationship with Donald Trump really shows to me that these are just two people and they're meeting and they're talking about ideas and trying to spread positivity in their own ways. Yes, Kanye West isn't always the best in the media. He says some things that are controversial. Donald Trump does the same thing. Both of them are misunderstood at times. Both of them actually say things that totally don't make sense. Uh, from certain contexts and do look pretty bad at times as well. So it's not like either of them are perfect by any means, but it is kind of good to see that these people from very different backgrounds are coming together with ideas to try to do something positive. So we might not necessarily fully support that, but we can at least see what it means from their own perspectives and not fully hate on it. If you enjoyed the video today, please give me a like. It really helps me grow the channel and get these videos out there. If you'd like to look into my channel more, I do videos on personal development, mindset, psychology, and other things that really focus around improving your life and bettering your own situation. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out the channel and subscribe if you like what you see. Other than that, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video all the way through, and I hope you all have a great day.